Welcome to Electron Line. In this video, we're going to talk about the energy and the momentum of a photon and find the units corresponding to those to see if they do indeed match what we expect to see. And from the previous video, we now know that the momentum of a photon can be expressed as the energy divided by the speed of light. Now we have the energy of a photon defined as Planck's constant times the frequency. We know that the wave speed equal to the speed of light is equal to the product of the frequency times the wavelength. And we know that Planck's constant is equal to 6.626 times 10 to the minus 34 joules times seconds. We can express the frequency as the quotient of the speed of light divided by the wavelength. And if we plug that in here, we can also express the energy of a photon as hc over lambda, which is my preferred way of doing that. But let's take each of these three equations. So we're going to take the energy expressed as the Planck's constant times the frequency, energy expressed as hc over lambda, and the momentum of a photon expressed as e over c, and see if it does indeed have the right units. So let's start with energy being equal to h times f. So we have the units for h, which is equal to joules times seconds by definition. And then we multiply the times the frequency, which is 1 over seconds. And right away you can see that the seconds cancel. And sure enough, that does indeed give us the units for energy. So it is a good equation. Equals h times f does make a lot of sense because it does give you the units for energy. If we take the second equation, we should, of course, get the same thing. So we have this is equal to, in units, Planck's constant joules times seconds times the speed of light, which is meters per second. And then we divide it by the wavelength, which is meters. Notice that seconds divided by seconds, meters divided by meters. And sure enough, we again get the units for energy, joules. Now, what about momentum? Well, momentum is equal to the energy divided by the speed of light, according to the equation that we saw in the previous video. And we note that the energy now converges to the units of joules. So when we write this in terms of the units, we get joules divided by the speed of light. The units of that would be meters per second, which means that this is equal to joules times seconds divided by meters. Now the question is, does that give us the units of momentum? Well, let's find out. Joule is a Newton meter. So this can be written as Newton meter times seconds divided by meters. And right away, the units of meters cancel out. And now we can convert the units of Newton to what Newton is equal to, which is a kilogram meter per second squared. That's for Newton, and we have seconds in the numerator, so times seconds. And so this second cancels out this second, and now you end up with the units of kilograms times meter per second. And sure enough, that is the product of mass times velocity, which indicates momentum, which means that this is a proper form of momentum of a photon. It's energy divided by the speed of light, and it does give us the right units for momentum. So in each case, we can express energy of a photon like this, we get units of joules, we can express the momentum of a photon, and we get units of momentum. Quite amazing, but it does work, and that's how it's done. 